what inspires me about physics is the research, understanding um, lots of things about the universe. Um, that's what everyone starts with, basically. But as I went on to the um, PhD, I sort of found my passion in condensed matter physics. So basically understanding how materials sort of undergo phase transitions and how they behave when they're like really super cold. So I chose to study this in Bristol because um, I knew my lectures really well. So I did my undergraduate in Bristol and my current supervisor is actually my third year solid state physics lecturer. In terms of the research knowledge, everyone I think in Bristol is really, really knowledgeable about their own fields. But I think it's also important to have like a really good like relationship with lecturer. And I mean, from my undergraduate course, I think he was a really, really approachable and really <laughs> friendly lecturer. Also, of course, because of like the research topic itself. The different labs that I get to use is the low temperatures lab. So that's where you have all the various different types of magnets and probes that you have that you go to cold temperatures with high fields. And then in the basement, you have the sort of radioactive labs. And that's where you start, you can grow thin films that are, you know, radioactive and other materials. And on the first floor lab, you also have an in-house um, X-ray X -ray diffractometer. I think what's unique about Bristol and in particular about the physics in Bristol is the rich history that it sort of has. Paul Direct was here and he actually gave a lecture in the, the lecture theater that I'm actually sitting right now. And I think that sort of inspires quite a lot of students um, been to do physics here because the, the people who have actually been here in, in Bristol and the people who have been lecturers, who've been students, they've all gone on to do like a lot of really amazing things. A lot of lecturers here, like they go above and beyond to actually show stuff. I mean, I've seen lecturers bring in liquid nitrogen with um, a YBCO in, in the lecture theater to show like the superconductor train. It's just a, a way of showing like what you actually learn. Although there's a lot of equations, there's a lot of um, things that are complicated. There are actually things that are fundamental in like nature. So you actually see the connection and it actually makes sense for you to study it and appreciate what you're actually learning. I can see that the supervisors here really care about their students. So it's not just about how your research is going, how much work you've done, or like, you know, have you done this measurement? Uh, but it's also about, oh, are you okay? Like, are you actually doing well? Is there anything bothering you? So like those kind of things is a highlight for me. So it's not just the focus on research, it's also, you know, your life, because this is someone's life at the end of the day. Um, and I think that's really important as well.